Hi everyone, it's Stephen from FutureLooks.com, and today we're going to be giving you an overview and unboxing of the Noctua NHD14 Dual Fan CPU Cooler. So Noctua's NHD14 Dual Fan Dual Radiator 6-Pipe CPU Cooler is a very big cooler in a very big box. As you can see, this this is a big box. It's not small by any means. Let's pop it open and see what we get. This is the accessory uh, package. We'll look at that in a second. And this must be the main section of the uh, box where the CPU cooler fits. So there's the beast in there, as you guys can see. Look at that, that's the, the cooler. Now, I'm gonna try to get my hands in here and hopefully they don't, this cooler doesn't take them off. Maybe it'd be easier if we pull the whole thing out first. That's easier. Okay, so, there we go. Aha. So as you can see, the Noctua NHD14 is a massive cooler that uses two uh, sets of radiators and two sets of fans. The first fan is a 120 millimeter unit attached using some spring clips and is dampened using some silicone pieces that are sandwiched in between the fan itself and the radiator. The second fan also uses clips and it too has some silicone in between to dampen vibration between the fan itself and the second radiator. You'll see that underneath here uh, is the uh, cooling plate. It's copper and it is very shiny, so well polished. There are two fan connectors here. They're tucked inside the, uh, the cooler uh, from the factory. And of course, you'll see the six massive heat pipes that connect the base to the two radiators. So with the NHD14 comes a few accessories. For example, the secure firm plate. is actually part of the hardware for the Intel set. Now this Intel set supports LGA775, LGA1156, and LGA1366 CPU sockets. On the AMD side, you'll be supporting AM2, AM2+, Plus, to AM3 CPU sockets. For the AMD um, socket users, AM2, AM2+, Plus through AM3, um, you don't actually have to use the uh, secure firm base plate, uh, which is this guy right here. All you need to do is actually just undo the, uh, the regular plastic socket mount that's already fitted to your motherboard and reuse the base plate that's already in place. Of course, an instruction manual is included and the very cool thing about this manual is the fact that there's both an Intel side and an AMD side so instead of using one single sheet of instructions they've actually made it very easy for people to follow along um, based on their socket type so if you have an Intel you pull out the Intel side if you have an AMD you pull out the AMD side what do we have here uh, yes uh, we have some fan splitters here and this allows you to connect the two uh, fan connectors that are on the CPU uh, cooler itself and turn it into one single connector for your motherboard. Or you can choose to run uh, two different connectors here. Now judging by the fact that there is a resistor on here, um, this probably lowers the fan RPM so that you get uh, quieter cooling at the expense of uh, cooling performance. There's also some additional hardware here and attachment um, connectors or rather um, hardware and also some screws in case you wanted to take the front fan for instance and mount it to your case. Some of the bonus items in the package include a Noctua case fan badge as well as their very good quality, uh, this stuff's actually really good, uh, the NTH1 CPU uh, thermal compa. To assist with uh, installation, Noctua has also included a, um, a screwdriver with a Phillips head on the tip to aid in installation. Um, you'll see why this is important because if I bring the cooler back here, you'll see that on the base here, there's this, you see that here? 
Um, this base here has two pieces of hardware that are blocked by the fan. They're also quite deeply recessed within the middle of the CPU cooler. Um, and what this allows you to do is this, this handle is quite long. So when you remove the middle fan, this screwdriver will actually aid in installation here. So you can see that having this T-handle on there uh, actually makes the installation job quite a bit easier. While we have the fan off here, I should probably show you some of the unique profiling that uh, Nauchu has uh, done to these fans. Um, here's some of the uh, fins that create more turbulence, and of course they have a metal reinforced SSO bearing shell and magnet, um, which allows this to spin very quietly, but also very quickly. You can see that with just a little bit of uh, of a spin, it runs for quite some time. So overall, a really good quality, uh, well put together um, cooler with a lot of uh, nice features that really make it uh, worthy of the price that they charge. We hope you enjoyed our unboxing and overview of Noctua's NHD14 CPU dual fan CPU cooler. Again, if you need more information on Noctua's products, please check out Noctua.at. We should be posting a review of this cooler very shortly in the next couple weeks, so make sure you hang in there and check out our conclusion and after we've got, gotten some testing time with this cooler. I'm Stephen with FutureLooks.com. Make sure you subscribe to our feed if you like what you're seeing here, and we'll see you again in the next video.